In this video, I'm going to show you how I animated an unknown creature sneezing using Calipeg on iPad. The rough animation was made on a single layer. But when I cleaned it, I divided the animation into different layers in order to make it easy to edit if needed. I will focus on the clean animation to explain the process. Before explaining the animation, let's talk about the brush I use. It is the Indian ink brush with the rotation of the tip set to random. I started with the head of the character. This animation is a boiling line effect with three frames long sheets within a cycle. You can learn how to do a boiling line effect within another video on this channel. The ears are bending with the wind. The volume is supposed to stay consistent, but I think I didn't correctly achieve it here. Then the ears move back to the initial position. Then comes the anticipation, which is the preparation of a movement that will happen next. For example, here, I want to go that way. But first, I go that way. The head will slightly go further for three frames before going back. And it's important to keep in mind that it's not the head going up and down, it's a head rotation. So the ears will go behind the head and have another shape because the perspective is different. It's a good way to give depth in your animation. Then suddenly we have the sneeze with a very different spacing. The position difference between this drawing and this one will create the speed effect. And we can see here the difference between the drawings. Then the speed slows down and the ears bend down. We have one position with the ears up and one with the ears down, but the head is the same. A boiling effect in a cycle here. Then the head will raise slowly and the ears will set themselves up until they arrive in the same position for the loop to work. To summarize, we have still head with ears in the wind, anticipation, sneeze, and then gradually returning to the initial position. Then we have the body of the creature. We can say that it looks like a sheet. Again, we don't really know what is this creature. Still drawing here with a cycle for the boiling line effect. Then we have the wind and it takes four different drawings to get there. Then the wind will go inside with some kind of wave. We can consider that we have three parts here, one here, one here and one here. And the wind will simply make a wave like that. That will give this ripple effect. And I also added some depth here because it goes over the head. It was the first time I was animating sheets or fabric, so that was the first try and I obviously still have a lot to learn. Then we have a nesin here and the speed increases because of the difference between the different drawings in terms of spacing. And we have a knees out here and even a little back and forth. So we have that pendulum effect, which is very subtle here, but it seems important. Another cycle and boiling line effect. Anticipation. It moves slightly, even here, and then boom, sneezing. And we have a very different shape. We go from that to that. And then a new wave effect. Three parts here. And the wind will go in this one, this one, and this one. It's the same principle. After that, we come back slowly to the initial position again to get the loop. Then I added the eyes, which are quite simple here. I started with eyes like that, and then I decided to make them a bit more sad, like that. Boiling line effect with a cycle. Then it's a bit surprised by the wind, closing its eyes. Then it comes down a little with the rotation of the head. Next we have a transition between this and this. So the eyes are open just a bit and this one a bit more than this one. Anticipation, rotation of the head, sneezing. And you can see here that the shape is not like that. It's really like that. Because again, we have a sphere here and the eyes are following the shape. That's why it's important to understand simple shapes and how to draw them from different angles. Then we have another transition and we are back to the initial pose. And now the character animation is complete. Another important element here is the blast of wind. For that, I used the drawing during play feature. Let's do an example here. I choose the same Indian ink brush. I want a 24 frames long animation, so I stretch this sheet to 24 frames. And then I will divide it into twos here. So I get 12 different sheets. And here the last one is on one. 
because my animation is starting on zero. So I change the length of my animation to 25 frames. And then I can just press play and draw. And depending on how fast I draw, the animation will be slow or fast. It's a really simple technique to animate for example wind, insects or rain. There are probably many other uses you can imagine. In my final animation, I added another wind layer here, the same one, duplicated, and moved in the timeline. And I decreased the opacity of this layer. Then I added another detail here with a sneeze. When the character sneezes, we have three different drawings, three lines, extending and disappearing. That's the kind of simple detail you can add in your shot to give more life to it. I stayed simple with the colors too, with just one color for the entire creature, with just a detail here, a different color on the inside. And for the last step, I added some hills in the background. And I could also decrease the opacity to get my final shot. That's it for this video. I hope you learned useful things about animating in Calipeg. And now, have fun animating.